This is an Alfie 500 and I will show you how to run it for the first time or run it after you haven't run it for a long time. So first of all, check if the strainer is clean and there's water in the strainer. Check if the pump impeller is greased and then you're basically good to go. You just have to plug it to the wall and wait until it's booted. For demonstrational purposes, I colored some oil red and put it into this fake industrial fluids tank. So we want to get the red oil here out of our cutting fluid. So that's it. Um, you put the suction device of choice in there. I picked the bellow type suction device because my tank is rather shallow. And then you just have to connect the suction device to your inlet, which is here. So this is it. And since I do not want to create a huge mess on the floor here, I will also connect the hose to the outlet and route it right back into the tank. I will hang it here so that it spills into the tank and creates some turbulences like a running machine which is operating from this tank would. So the system is booted and now everything I have to do is press play. The separator will run up on its own and as soon as it reached the operational speed the pump kicks in and starts pumping and cleaning this liquid. The separator may vibrate while it's running up. That's normal. If the vibration keeps going on when it's at full speed or is very intense, shut it off, then you have an unbalance in the bowl and um, the whole machine may dismantle itself. So, I'm ready. I will press play and see what happens. The separator runs up. It had some vibrations there for a very short moment. Now it's up to speed and the pump kicks in and you see that there is this red oil getting sucked into the separator and very quickly it should be visible that oil is separated into the tank here in the back. In fact, there is already red oil landing into this tank. So, the oil level is quickly going down here on this tank. So it obviously works. To show you more clearly how good this works, I will get a second tank to not have the kidney loop process on one tank, but rather the from one tank to another process. Whoop. And here we go. There is a slight tint of red in here, but it's almost completely clear water. Here in the sludge tank, there is already a substantial amount of red oil you can see here. And that's it. Easy peasy. I like watching this. And if you want to stop, you just press stop. The pump stops, separator slows down. And that's it. There is still a slight tint of red here in the cleaned cutting fluid, but that's to some very small and tiny oil droplets and maybe some of the food color which went from the oil to the water. Um, but this will clean up the more often you run it through the separator. But you see there is no oil layer settling on top of this um, cleaned water or cleaned fluid. And there is a very substantial amount of 
uh, fake tramp oil here in the settling tank. That's it.